There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Will Google's Nexus 7 kill the Kindle or nuke the Nook? I'm John P. Geek Beat's $199 tablet shootout begins. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. Remember those old westerns where gunslingers go mano a mano out front of the saloon while the undertaker watches? Well, a $199 tablet war has been raging between Amazon's Kindle Fire and the Barnes & Noble Nook. So far, even though Microsoft tossed Barnes & Noble a $300 million investment, the undertaker's been spending a lot of time measuring the Nook for its coffin. Amazon has placed upwards of 6 million Kindles in the hands of customers who are loading them up with content. All that fuel from the fire helped Amazon blow past analyst revenue projections and sent its stock on a stampede. But now there's a new sheriff in town. Seems Google didn't take kindly to the nook and fire skinning its operating system and herding their customers into closed content stores. So they're bringing in their own gunslinger, the Nexus 7. He sure is pretty, but can he fight? I just had an idea. Somebody should register tabletbattles.com and then use claymation to give them legs and little swords and have the tablets duke it out in stop motion video. I'd watch it. And of course, you'd want to use coupon code Cali to grab that name over at domain.com. Oh, they upped our discount to 20% off, but it's only for a limited time. Anyway, if you're going to register a domain, you really might as well use a .com. I mean, when someone starts telling you their domain name, your brain instantly just fills it in with .com at the end anyway, right? So take advantage of psychology. And remember, everyone loves claymation and domain.com. Okay, back to the shootout at the Android Corral. Let's take a closer look at these three seven-inch tablets. The good, the bad, and the ugly. First up, the good. The Kindle Fire is a good buy if you're already paying $79 a year to be an Amazon Prime member. It buys you access to a lot of video content and eBooks in the Kindle lending library at no extra charge. Amazon's curated app store also receives high marks from users and developers who describe the wide open range of the Google app store as a bit of the wild west. Like the Fire, the Nook also has a curated app store and its hardware is a slight step up from the Fire. Its screen offers more glare resistance and there's an expansion slot for more memory. But when it comes to the Nexus 7, this isn't even a fair fight. Google armed its tablet to the teeth. Double the RAM of either the Fire or the Nook, a higher resolution 1280 by 800 display with greater pixel density, a front-facing camera with built-in microphone for video conferencing, GPS, NFC, gyroscope, accelerometer, quad-core processor, Android 4.1, and a voice-activated personal assistant. Did I mention the case is slimmer and lighter than either of the other tablets? Time to take a look at the bad. Although the Fire is optimized for Amazon Prime Video, there are no volume control buttons, no Bluetooth capability, or microphone, and some dirty scoundrels skin the Android OS so heavily you basically wouldn't recognize it. So pay no attention to all the Android OS upgrades coming out, because you won't be getting any. The Nook basically suffers from all the same shortcomings, although to its credit, it does include physical volume controls and a microphone. But then again, you're stuck with the Barnes & Noble content, which doesn't have all the free goodies Amazon's offering. The Nexus 7? About the only thing we can find missing is an SD slot. Of course, Google's Android market doesn't have the depth of content Amazon Prime does, but hey, since the platform is totally open, you can still access all that content anyway. It's just not going to be nearly as easy or intuitive. Finally, the ugly. When we first sized up Nexus 7's hardware, we said this wasn't a fair fight, and that's pretty much our overall assessment. If this were a gun battle, Google brought in a Gatling gun, Amazon maybe has like a Winchester, but Barnes & Noble has a rusty old six-shooter and it's hiding behind a barrel marked Microsoft, trying not to get its head blown off. Amazon is believed to have some hardware upgrades up their sleeve, but they'll have a hard time matching Google feature for feature at this price point. Then again, they don't have to. If they can match some of the Nexus 7's features, like maybe video conferencing, and shift the battle back to content where they hold an edge, then this becomes a fair fight. As for the Nook, well, I don't know. If you got some idea of how they're gonna stay in the fight, shoot me a comment over on Twitter or Google Plus. Oh, and lest I forget, through the magic of YouTube trickery, 
You can click right up in this area to subscribe to Geek Beat, right in here, and you can reach down there and give this video a thumbs up. Happy trails, partner. And sent it stock on a stampede. Stampede. That is hard to say. Wow. You're stuck with a ah. Well, yeah. There is a lot of alliteration.